Hello, Nobuki Takaman here. Today, I would like to talk about the most important thing when you study jazz improvisation. That is, to learn the melody of the song and to develop them. When we talk about jazz improvisation, I think many of you think about scales and chords and arpeggio and things like that. But one of the most neglected things that everybody should do is to know the melody of the song. I mean, really know the melody of the song and develop them. If you really don't know the melody of the song and if you just improvise over the changes, you may be able to improvise, but it's going to sound like you're playing a bunch of notes from chords and scale. Melody of songs will give you lots of inspirations and you can use them as a musical tool to develop your idea and build up the, the solo based on the song that you play. In other words, by using the melody of the song, you'll be able to play something that has a deep connection to what you play and what the, the song is really about. In this video, I'll show you three easy and simple techniques to develop any melody. If you haven't watched my previous video about an exercise to be able to play the melody of any song, please check them before you watch this video. I will include the links in the descriptions below. Let's get started. Before we play, I am going to pick a song of the day, which is Happy Birthday. This is a very very simple song, but I think everybody knows this song, so I will pick this one for this lesson. But you are more than welcome to use any of your favorite jazz standards when you practice. Okay, so the first one is Approach Note, and here is the melody of the song with no embellishment. So, approach note is a technique to use notes to approach your target note. You can pick any note of the melody as your target note, and in order to approach to your target note, you can use notes from the scale or chromatic scale. Now, if I pick the first note of this song as the, uh, my target note, I could do something like this. I could go actually from above, you know, and I can also use a scale note. I'm actually playing this song in the key of F, so I can use notes from F major scale, dot R. Those notes are the ones that I can use. So this is my target note, so. I approach actually the target note from the, uh, the scale notes below and I could actually go from above so and maybe I could approach you know the last note from below I could actually also use You know, chromatic notes below. Again, you can pick any note of the melody as your target note. So, you know, try, you know, mess around with it. And it can be sometimes too much, but you know, it's good to know you're doing it too much before you actually do things too much at a concert or like when you play with other people. So, you know, with like, you know, no tempo, like a kind of like a rubato. And then, you know, try to approach, um, you know, a lot of notes in the melody like this okay second technique is passing tone passing tone is a technique to use two of the notes from the melody with scale note or chromatic note. So, you know, to apply, you know, this passing tone, you know, to happy birthday, first, uh, you need to pick two notes in the melody. So like if you say, you know, pick the first two notes of the song, 
you can actually have only uh, you know you can only have D flat or you know C sharp so you can do I actually I connected uh, G and F with a G flat okay like this so approach note and passing tone are really similar but what differentiates from these two techniques is for approach note, you have one target note and then you do approach here or like here. To do the passing tone, you have actually, you pick two notes and then you connect these two notes. Now, um, if you do passing tone between these two, like C and D, you know, there are not that many extra notes that you can add, but if it's like, you know, G, my bad, uh, C to C, like da 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 you have actually lots of notes to you know uh, add as passing tone so something like that okay again it's good to do too much when you practice so that you really know what to do when you play okay so Okay, that's my rendition of Happy Birthday using lots of passing tone. The third technique is neighbor tone. Neighbor tone is a technique to use a scale note that is uh, one scale degree higher or like one scale degree lower. When you use actually the note that is actually one scale degree higher, it's called upper neighbor tone. And when you pick the note that is lower, like one scale degree lower, that's called lower neighbor tone. In order to do this technique, you know, we will use notes from F major scale, okay? So, that's the first part of the melody, and then the last note that I'm holding is actually kind of long, nice and long, so I will add neighbor tone. Or I could do... I could do like a lot of things. It's very simple, but you know, I like to do this because I can really use the melody of the song as my framework to come up with a new you know, musical idea. So please have fun with it. Now we covered all the three techniques, so I'll improvise using the melody of Happy Birthday again. You can also do this to any jazz standard. So, you know, pick your favorite songs and, you know, practice, you know, one at a time, approach note, passing tone, and neighbor tones. Once you get used to doing, you know, all three, you can mix them up. And I strongly recommend you to practice this from actually rubato, like no tempo, because, you know, first of all, when you improvise, your brain should process everything. So if it's too fast for your brain to work, um, it's going to be too fast. So when you practice, you know, practice slowly is always the key. Okay, anyway, so if I use all three techniques to play autumn leaves, it's gonna be like this. That's it for this video showing three techniques to develop melody of any song. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below or you can always email me from my website. See you next week.